Hello, in celebration of Mother's Day, I am proposing that my brothers and I uh, write up a biography of our mom, Mary Morrison Walker, and um, I'm sitting in, ooh, the car, there's lightning. We have a major thunderstorm coming through in squall line, so you can hear it. I'm not getting out of the car just yet, even though I'm only 15 feet from the house. Anyway, our mother, Mary Morrison Walker, was born November 9th, uh, 1917. Her father, Robert Morrison, was born in India. Um, in the 1890, I can't remember, five or six, something like that. Uh, he was born in India, and in 1900, uh, he moved uh, back to the United States to go to high school. He was five years older than his uh, new wife, who was Mary Hannah Pence the daughter of William C. Pence and Tacey Ross Pence. Uh, William C. was born in 1855 and uh, his parents lived in, um, I'm just getting a notice here, Hillsborough County, oh, severe weather warning. Oh, glad they're keeping us surprised of the weather on top of us. Anyway, uh, Stacy Ross Pence was uh, the daughter of a long line of John Rosses from uh, Donegal, uh, which was now Northern Ireland. Um, the Pence family most likely was from the Rhine region of Germany. In that area of western Pennsylvania, central western Pennsylvania, north of Pittsburgh, North of Puxatani, um, there are a lot of Pence's, P-E-N-T-Z, as opposed to P-E-N-C-E. -E. Okay, so uh, Robert Morrison uh, somehow met, probably in Big Run, where our uh, great-grandfather had a church. Um, probably met Mary Morrison there because we know she had a friend from Big Run, which is 13 miles south of Du Bois. And there, there was a trolley system running between those two towns uh, to bring in business and for the convenience of the uh, mine workers and that sort of thing. So, um, trying to remember when they were married. I think it was 1915. Uh, Robert Morrison had uh, gone to Penn State for a semester and then he went to LSU uh, and we're not sure yet but we think he uh, majored in agriculture because he became an agricultural uh, farmer, uh, farm manager. Uh, he, he went back to Du Bois and married Mary Hannah Pence and brought her to uh, cut off Louisiana to the Cloverly farm where he worked. They lived on a houseboat in a bayou and his principal occupation at the outset was surveying the land, clearing the land, and building a hurricane dike to uh, pump the water off the land so it could be farmed. <clears throat> My mother was born in New Orleans, and I'm not sure uh, at a hospital, but um, we need to find that out. <sighs> Almost two years, 17 months later, Mary Hannah Pence Morrison uh, died of the great influenza. Great tragedy, beautiful woman. Uh, we have some pictures of uh, our grandmother, Mary Hannah Pence uh, Morrison, 
with our mother, Mary Hannah Morrison, in the backyard of uh, 130 uh, North Washington Avenue, a home that our great-grandfather, William C. Pence, had uh, purchased or built, we think built, because he owned the property first. So there is a connection between uh, Mary Hannah Pence and Mary Hannah Morrison with Du Bois, Pennsylvania. We do know that uh, Robert Morrison, our grandfather, remarried in, uh, I think it was 1921, and married Doris Cooper. And uh, they had three more daughters, uh, Doris, who ultimately became uh, I can't remember uh, her last name. I know my cousin's names. Um, Doris, Betty, who became uh, Betty O'Neill, and Margaret, who became uh, nicknamed Cricket Adams. And I have 25, or the, I should say there's 25 of us cousins in the Morrison line. Nevertheless, uh, we're not sure where mom was schooled. Ultimately, uh, there was a house on the plantation where uh, our grandfather and step-grandmother and the four girls lived. Mary Hannah Morrison, our mother, uh, was shipped off to Du Bois for high school, and she went to Du Bois High School, and we have one, I th we think we have her junior year um, clipper, which is their uh, yearbook. It was uh, a multi-page um, uh, paperback uh, annual. She then went to Louisiana State University and got a degree in home economics. And while there, she met uh, Bernice Lindsey Burness Walker, our dad, uh, in the stacks of the LSU library where he worked. Uh, after her graduation and his graduation in 1938, they married uh, in December of 1938, and in January 1939, dad moved to Washington, D.C., uh, for a job with the Library of Congress and ultimately mom moved up there. We're not sure which month, but it was that year and they lived in a uh, in an apartment uh, on Seward Square, which is um, a cross street of uh, Southwest Pennsylvania Avenue about um, I don't know five or six blocks from the Library of Congress so uh, dad could hoof it to work and back. In 1940-41, uh, mom, we know, cashed in some stocks and bonds procured for her by her uh, late grandfather, William C. Pence, who died, I believe, in 1931. Uh, or, or 35, I can't remember. Um, that money uh, either made a paid for or made a down payment on a house at 2300 Chevrolet Avenue and purchased a Plymouth uh, sedan or coupe, uh, which was gray, which dad uh, dubbed Old Betsy, which I guess was after a uh, a farm horse. Um, let me think here. Uh, Dad went in the Navy in 1942, got out in 45. My brother Bob was born in January 42. I was born in 1946. Don was born in 1948. 
and Steve was born in 1950. During the war of 1942 to 45, uh, m our mother moved to uh, Philadelphia about two miles from the Philadelphia Navy Yard where dad's ship uh, was periodically uh, docked, stationed, whatever. He was on the Atlantic Fleet flagship, the Vixen, which was the flagship or the uh, Atlantic commanders, Atlantic, uh, what we call it, admiral of the fleet. Uh, and they were like the supreme headquarters for the Atlantic. Uh, after a year, he transferred to uh, the Cincinnati, a cruiser, and served in the South Atlantic hunting submarines. Um, in 1948, I guess, with they sold the Chevrolet property, 2300 Chevrolet Avenue, and bought uh, 10 acres uh, with an adjoining five uh, purchased by my Uncle Jim in Clinton, Maryland. That was behind Ballard Subdivision, and they bought it from a man named Hamby who had a farm. I guess he was getting older and he was selling off property and uh, with the baby boom, people were buying property left and right. Um, it's kind of hard to mark, um, uh, what would you call it, um, milestones in my mother's life. But uh, descriptively, our mother was, uh, average height for a woman her age. Uh, she was especially attractive, uh, but naturally so. Not She was not a glamour puss. She did not have a super high self-esteem, but she had a tremendous amount of compassion. She was smart. She read a lot. She read for pleasure, mostly mysteries. Um, she didn't start to smoke until uh, she kicked Dad out of the bedroom for whatever reason, we don't know. He said he left because she started smoking. But um, that wasn't until she was in her mid-50s. Uh, Mom and Dad had, uh, as I said, a 10-acre farmette. It had uh, three and a half acres of pasture, fenced pasture, three and a half acres of woods, an acre and a half truck garden, an orchard, um, in 1948, I believe, we moved into what we call the old house, which was a cinder block house, roughly 50 feet long and 25 feet wide. It had uh, uh, an L-shaped dining room, uh, living room, a small galley kitchen, a fairly sizable bedroom for my parents, a freezer room, which was the bedroom for myself and my brother Bob, until Don and Steve came along and they built the back room, which became a bedroom for the four of us. Um, and it was designed such that it would be a temporary home for us and ultimately a garage or work shed for my dad. The property also had a, a corrugated tin chicken house where we raised chickens. Uh, he built a pole barn uh, with a galvanized uh, tin roof. And we had a cow and a horse. Our livestock uh, rotated, but we always had chickens. And um, sometimes we had turkeys, uh, pigeons, ducks. Uh, well, I don't remember ducks, but we never had pigs. I always thought it was strange we never had a pig. But we did... Um, uh, breed the cow every year, so we had uh, fresh whole milk. Uh, we had uh, natural well water that we dug uh, on the property. And Dad did plant various types of crops like sorghum or wheat or... Uh... Our garden was stupendous. Our garden had asparagus, corn tomatoes, squash, 
various kinds of lettuce and green beans, string beans, peas, mm, even flowers uh, uh, to ward off uh, invasive bugs. Uh, we took the uh, horse and cow manure, composted it, and haul that compost material to the garden as fertilizer. And um, that was usually a sun project. All of that to say our mother did the harvesting and the cooking. She was an excellent cook. And uh, we had a, a weekly schedule. I uh, can't remember exactly what it was, but it was probably chicken on Monday. Um, Spaghetti on Friday, hamburgers on Saturday, roast on Sunday. Uh, we had uh, Swedish meatballs, uh, goulash. Uh, hmm, well, a fair amount of casseroles, which was popular in the 50s and 60s and went a long way. But we had whole milk, so we had our own butter. We always had cream. We always had plenty of milk and Bosco around for chocolate milk, which we made on our own and or whenever we wanted it. Uh, my mother was not a fancy person. She, I had to, when I was in high school, I had to take her out and help her to purchase furniture for our living room. We had a brand new house. Um, I'm trying to think, probably 56, 58, we moved into our new house. We lived, I think we lived eight years in the old house. So if we moved in that in, 50, uh, in 48, then 58, uh, 56 was when we moved into our new house. Uh, our mother was in a sewing circle with the church. We went to Christ Episcopal Church and Father Paul Stoutzenberger was our uh, right reverend pastor um, she was a member of several sewing circles and the women's groups and um, trying to think she also had a friend who had uh, a child with special needs I'm not sure if they were autistic or uh, had cerebral palsy or polio or something like that but she spent a lot of time uh, with that woman giving her relief and support and that sort of thing. Uh, my father was in the Naval Reserve Group uh, at the Navy Yard, uh, the Naval Security Group, and then he switched over to the Capitol Hill Naval Reserve Group, and they took a lot of junkets during the... Um, during the recesses from Congress. So he traveled a fair amount to Rota, Spain and Copenhagen and, you know, places like that. Um, and then uh, my mother, see, my father retired early, about 58, and uh, he and my mother bought an Airstream, uh, what they call a land cruiser, land yacht, and they traveled all around the United States and Canada, Mexico, and they came to Europe a couple of times when I was there. We actually had a rendezvous with my older brother Bob and his wife Jeannie in Nuremberg, and we had some time with them. Um, my parents came over when I took a European out in 1972, and um, we went to uh, Italy and Greece and back. And um, my mother died at the age of 70 in 1990, I think 70. Wait a minute, how old was she? There was 17. Ooh. Well, maybe she was 73 in 1990. So um, I remember that uh, my sister-in-law, um, Maureen O'Connell Walker, uh, wrote a beautiful eulogy for mom, 
Uh, I would like to find that eulogy again and include it in this. Uh, she had a service at uh, Christ Episcopal Church and she was interred in the columbarium at um, Arlington National Cemetery and was uh, followed there by our dad, uh, cap who was a captain in the Naval Reserve uh, in 1998. Uh, that's the best of my recollection, and I hope that we can uh, flesh this out and get a nice, uh, a nice outline and build her a good time.